Hello, this is Nemesis of Pony 4 on 1, and this is another video review. This is the Equestria Girls Mini Photo Finish. And, well, yep, it's a photo finish. I mean, that's a pretty straightforward thing. I mean, she's blue with white hair and the glasses and all that jazz. So, yeah, and her, I guess her black and white striped vest or outfit. So, yeah, not surprising, you know. Same as met most of the Equestria Girls stuff. Uh, it's interesting. She shares the glasses with the vinyl scratch figure. The hair is not the same as Twilight's. It's slightly different. Mo it's different molding than the Twilight stuff. I was expecting to just reuse the Twilight mold for that, but nope. Same molding there, but yeah. Thanks to the fact she has short hair, though. See? Short hair. All that stuff, you know. Thanks to that, she actually has a lot of uh, unrestricted movement with her head. can even go that way. If you really want to. And of course the shoulders. Simple. Double joint. Or not double joint. Um, dual hinges I should say. Although the hair. Because of the shape of the hair right here. Can get in the way unless you. If you want to move it up. And of course the elbows though. You can rotate at the elbow as well. Rotate and bend. Uh, no waist as usual. And yes, it comes with the usual stand. This one's pink. And it, but the hips though, forward and back, outward, clicks outward a little bit. Knees, bends 90 degrees. And it can also rotate at the knee. So if you're trying to get a sitting pose, you can kind of somewhat fake it. But yeah, it's one of the for sitting poses with these things you always have to fake unless they don't have a skirt, like say the first Rainbow Dash or whatnot. Yeah, and of course, two different hands. One's open, one's kind of cupped a little bit, so you can actually hold stuff. Because she does come. This one does come with accessories, which I'll get to in just a second. Also, in my experience, this one can actually kind of hold, um, hold, stand up without a stand. Yeah, she comes with a, a pair of scissors. Just, just a little pair of scissors. Which is interesting in of itself. Yeah, so you can hold those not by the loops, unfortunately. It's not that I could find. I mean, she could kind of guess you could do that, but uh, that doesn't work. You kind of have to hold them. She has to hold them like that, but she can hold them, which is good. She also comes with a uh, yearbook. It's opened all the way time. Doesn't doesn't fold or anything, but of course. Pictures of all the main, I guess, seven plus, uh, plus photo finish. So there's that. I mean, of course, it's human or pony twilight, not human twilight. And finally, of course, it's photo finish. So, of course, she has to come with a camera. It comes on a tripod. Well, that's a, so it can, it can rotate on the tripod. And she can hold the little handle right here. If you rotate her hand right. But she can't hold the this larger handle, but she can hold the... Yeah, she can hold this narrow part with the left hand. With the right hand, she can simulate holding it. I guess. There's that. The other thing, nice thing about the camera, is it can come off the tripod, and it's got a strap, and a, much like the uh, instruments that came with Rainbow Dash recently, it can hook around her, so she can I didn't even notice. She has a little uh, necktie thing, which looped around a weird way. I jostled it. Which, yeah, the necktie just clips on so that can come off. Or scarf, whatever you want to call the app. So there's that. Yeah, you can, you know, loop this around her neck. So now she's holding the camera. It's a little... That's neat. And the other cool thing about the camera is it comes... There's also this another new lens and you can pop 
this one off. You can pop this lens or lens cap off and put this one on. I thought that was pretty neat. So yeah, it's a nice little accessory set with this one. It's a nice figure once again. This one's actually pretty good. Um, joint wise, uh, this one's not too loose. Yeah, I mean, it's not the tightest, but she can usually stand up without her stand like that. See? No stand. I did it. There we go. So, yeah. This one's actually pretty nice. I was able to get it for very cheap. I was surprised how cheap. But yeah, this one, would go. I think it would retail about, I'm trying to remember, like $12 or $15. That's where it should be retailing for. But I was able to get it for eight, surprisingly. So, yeah, this is actually a pretty nice one. I was, uh, yeah, so this one definitely did not have QC problems. Uh, the accessories are actually pretty nice overall. Uh, just the camera stuff, which is kind of, I was like amazed just the fact you can swap the lenses and whatnot. whatnot. So that was actually pretty cool. So, yeah, if you like photo finish, which, well, she's kind of nice in her own way. I'd highly suggest picking her up, especially if you're already all in on the Equestria Girls Mini line. So yeah, this this has been the review of a photo finish from Equestria Girls Minis, and uh, well, I go.